So we're back with another car vlog in the Lexus. Now, today, as I said, I wanted to do a head-mounted thing. So I've got this cap. On this cap, I've got a little GoPro mount. Now, you can actually also get the, the other thing that I got before, but I'm going to try it with the little cap mount because it's a little bit easier, I think, compared to this strap being on my head. Like, I don't know about you, but I think I prefer that other thing. Second camera, we're doing roof mounts. If you've been following me on Twitter, you'll know that I had a massive bolt, listen, like a massive bolt stuck in my tire, which was not great. I found it last night while going to the shop. Not the best time to find out you've got a bolt in your tire. But as you can probably tell, it looks very, very new. It's a Bridgestone tire. So there were a couple of options with the tire. There was a cheap one, which they didn't have, or the expensive one that they did have. And it was like 60 pound difference, so quite a bit. But I thought, you know what? I really need to get this thing running. I need it a lot. So I went with the more expensive one. Thankfully, the, the other tire is fine for now, so I have to replace them in pairs, but it's gonna be very soon, I'm assuming, that tire. So a quick walk around the car just to see what this view is gonna be like. I have no idea what I'm looking at currently, which is a bit of a ball ache, but not a problem. That window is awful. Now let's get in and go for a drive. This is so weird. So as for the battery on this, I don't have very long, so I might have to switch to the other roof GoPro and like take that battery out and use this one because I didn't bring any spares, but without further ado, let's start this thing. Ah, yes. And that takes about ages to come, about ages. Yeah, that's, that's a good analysis, isn't it? So my normal driving position would be this, but I'm sure you can only see this at the moment. So I'm gonna like lean down, lean down a little bit, maybe adjust my seat, that might actually. That's a bit more practical. <laughs> so this is really, really weird. I've never done anything like this before in my life. It feels like, well, it feels like there's a fucking camera on my head. What, what do you want me to say? Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm gonna close the window because we're moving now. So anyway, uh, yes, how, how did I manage to get a puncture? Many people will probably be asking. Well, basically I drove to the supermarket and basically then found out that there was actually a, uh, a big bolt in my tire. After I was checking the tire pressures, it was on 16. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, one of them was on 16. Um, and then I looked around and right at the top, there was a big bolt in it. A massive, massive bolt, probably like that. It was ridiculous, but I don't even know where I am now. I'm completely lost, but this does not look like a nice place. I say that, I live in Grimsby anyway. There's the slow train. If you ever see me on Twitter complaining about train, it's those. Like, <laughs> They are literally the slowest fucking trains in the world. Looking in the wing mirror, I look like a massive spoon. Not that I don't always look like a massive spoon, but I look more of a spoon than normal. How does one look like a spoon, you ask? Well, it takes a lot of skill. <laughs> which is why only I managed to do it without even trying. So the guy that put on my tire, he actually knew me. He, he knew the, the car, he recognized the car and he recognized me. Uh, he, I pointed out my, my tinted windows, like badly tinted window, and he's like, yeah, I saw you do it. I was like, all oh, right, and then we figured out, he, he was basically, he, he knew me. So anyway, uh, that, was, that was pretty cool, so. But as I said, I went with a Bridgestone more expensive tire because literally like, uh, it's the only one that had in stock, otherwise I would have to wait. And I just, I, I can't, I can't wait, no. It's not a, no, not a, no, no. People are probably looking at me like a right weirdo if they actually spot the camera on my head as well. They'll see the one on the roof and they'll be like, oh, okay. And they'll see the one on my head like, what the fuck is that bastard doing? I managed to actually catch a car vlog on a sunny day though. This, today's been really sunny. I see today, it's 3 p.m. And it's already, the sun, you can see the sun's going down. I don't know if you can actually see that, but that's, it, it basically looks like it's going down. All right, mate, all right, mate. Guess what? Oh, nice Mercedes there, looks pretty cool. Anyway, let's play a bit of catch up there. I meant to do that, it was intentional. Definitely, fair deals, car shout out, sponsor. All right, carpet, get your carpets. All right, oh for God's sake. The worst lights ever. You see my brakes are a lot better now. <laughs> Which is, which is kind of useful. I literally have no idea how this vlog is going to turn out. I'm hoping for the best. Like, I'm literally worried this is going to be a bag of wank, but we'll see. It, it's, it's experimenting. We've got to see. I've got to see for when I drive some more exciting cars, you know. Trust in me. Look at me. You got me horse limited edition, dickhead. Proper sick 
I don't know if that's limited edition. Like, literally, limited edition courses, the only way you can bloody tell they're limited edition is if they're fucking... They, they've got black rims. That's about it. Like, come on, mate. That's not, that's not very fucking special, is it? One advantage to new tyres. I have less worry about sliding through corners. The direction control on this car is not the best in the world. You always have to be careful. Though, to be fair, as I said, I was on worn-ish tyres. Jesus Christ, that thing is massive. Always massive vehicles going through here. Come on, get rolling, get rolling, get rolling. There we go, lads. Was that difficult? No, it wasn't. I thought to round it off though, we should come to this road that I think is a 50. It's a, I think it's a, yeah, it's a 50. I should hope it's a 50 because I've been doing 50 on it. So <laughs> we're gonna do 50 just just to, you know, see a little bit of, bit of pickup in the Lexus just to show you it, how it goes. All right, slow down. Jesus, Nora, Christ, Christ on a bike with a dildo strapped to his, oh, I mean a GoPro. Here we go, 50. So let's go 50, if we can. Because these knobs, oh, I'm going to close the window because it's a bit, all right then. I'm off mate, in a bit. There you go, 50. And now I'm going to open the window a little bit, just, just in case, because, no, it's too, it's too windy. <laughs> but there you go. I think we shall round off the vlog once I go to McDonald's, because I want a McDonald's. See, they're not going for Mackies. I am. It's all mine. It's all mine! There's only one person in the drive through This is a glorious day, my subscriber. Whoa, mate. Nice Honda. Nice, nice Honda, mate. Sick. So there you go. That's a car vlog from first person. I might do a couple more of these. I'm going to be driving an R34 Skyline very soon, hopefully. GTR around a track like three laps it's, it's some kind of like day thing my friend got me it i can't wait to do that so hopefully this turned out well and i might be able to do this on the actual car because i doubt i'll be able to mount a camera on the car so this will be a good bet or the strap depending on which is which um but yeah so i think that'll round off this video thank you ever so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new and i shall see you guys in the next video peace